What do you see when you think of our universe? Whatever it might be, that's just the start of the story. The stuff of matter, the stuff that we're made of, is not the whole story. As scientists have measured the way that the galaxies move around, the way that the universe is actually expanding, they've realised that they're not seeing most of the universe. So what makes up everything else? This could well be the biggest mystery of all. For a long time, when people looked up into space, they thought that everything in the universe, uh, stars, galaxies, planets, us, were made of the same thing, which is atoms and molecules that contain protons and neutrons. But as more data comes in, there are lots of anomalies. There's actually much, much more other stuff out there. Normal matter, the stuff we can see or detect, makes up just 5% of the composition of the universe. Scientists think that the rest of the universe is composed of two other things, dark matter and dark energy. So far, so good. But there's a problem. Dark matter and dark energy are words for stuff that scientists don't really understand. They're kind of like metaphors for ignorance about the universe. All we know is that we can't see either of them and that they're very hard to detect. Neither dark matter nor dark energy absorb or emit light, making them completely invisible to modern scientific instruments. So the obvious question is, how do scientists even know they exist? Dark matter cannot be detected by traditional space observatories or telescopes on the ground because all of those machines use electromagnetic radiation, light basically, of different frequencies. And dark matter doesn't emit that kind of radiation. The only way that we know dark matter exists is by its gravitational effects. These effects were first observed in 1933 by the astronomer Fritz Zwicky. While studying a distant cluster of galaxies, he and his team noticed something very strange. And they realised that the galaxies on the outer rim were moving way too fast. Um, there wasn't enough gravitational force within that galaxy cluster to keep these galaxies at the edge. If these galaxies at the edge were moving that fast, they should have flown away, but they weren't flying away. Zwicky and his team wrote that there must be something else present, some missing mass holding the galaxies together. The overall name for this missing mass that we can't see is dark matter. And that missing mass was observed in lots of other places. The presence of dark matter seems to act like an invisible glue, holding the normal matter in the universe together. But finding out what it actually is, is like trying to solve a detective mystery. Any questions? All right, you all have your instructions. Let's go. You have to identify the likely suspects. First, there are machos, massive astrophysical compact halo objects these are mostly dead or failed stars, like neutron stars, which are left over when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses. Or brown dwarfs, which are enormous clumps of atoms that never quite manage to develop into stars. These sound promising at first, but nowadays many scientists think machos are unlikely to be behind dark matter. So maybe it's wimps. But weakly interacting massive particles are just one of the hypothetical particles that scientists are actually looking for. There are a dizzying array of other potential suspects, many of which are also yet to be discovered in practice. Little wonder then that many eyes turned to the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Geneva. Scientists there have been searching for possible dark matter particles for more than a decade. But they're yet to find anything. So, now what? As well as looking in particle colliders to make the particles of dark matter, another way is to look out into space and look for the gravitational effects of it. There's a new class of instruments called gravitational wave detection machines, which really only started working a few years ago on Earth. Um, these can detect 
the ripples in space-time that gravitational objects create. If there's huge clumps of dark matter somewhere doing something interesting, they will potentially emit gravitational waves, and that's another way in to finding out what they might be. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I directed this film. If you want to read more of our science and technology coverage, why not take out a subscription to The Economist? You'll receive daily and weekly analysis of global affairs, and you can read us online, in the app, and listen to our audio edition. For the best offer, click the link. And now, back to the film. If you think dark matter is a challenging mystery to unravel, that's nothing compared to dark energy. Dark energy is similar to dark matter in just a couple of ways. It's invisible, and it has the word dark in it. Beyond that, well, scientists are struggling. But they think it exists because of one incredible discovery. Ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding. Scientists used to believe that the pull of gravity would eventually cause its expansion to slow down. But in the late 1990s, they actually found the opposite. The expansion of the universe was speeding up. This finding was extraordinary. Imagine you threw a ball into the air and instead of being pulled back down by a gravity, it just continues to fly straight up into the sky. Well, the discovery of dark energy was kind of the same thing. It had scientists stumped. Now this was a big surprise and couldn't be explained using the physics that uh, astrophysicists already had at the time. So as a placeholder to try and explain why the universe is not only expanding, but that expansion is accelerating. They created this stuff called dark energy. Scientists think that dark energy accounts for the majority of the energy in the universe, but most of its properties still remain a mystery. Dark energy really is beyond any theories of uh, established physics right now. All we know about it is that it has the opposite effect of gravity. Gravity pulls things together and dark energy pushes things apart. Now we don't know if it's a particle or a fluid or a force that's pushing things around everywhere, or whether it's a property of space itself. One theory is that dark energy could be something like a fluid that fills up space. Some theorists have called it quintessence. Another possibility takes us back in time to one of the fathers of modern physics. Albert Einstein realised that empty space isn't simply nothing. He argued that there must be a force at play there to counteract gravity. Otherwise, the universe would just collapse. To account for this force, he added a term called the cosmological constant to his theory of gravity. Einstein believed that the universe was neither expanding nor contracting. When it was later discovered that the universe is expanding, he discarded the idea of a cosmological constant. He later called it his biggest blunder. But what if it wasn't? The thing is, as we discover what dark energy is, it seems to quite neatly match with the idea of a cosmological constant. So some people are trying to introduce the idea of a cosmological constant back into general relativity to try and explain some of the things that dark energy does. So Einstein thought he was wrong, but he might have been right. The cosmological constant, or something like it, could be the force driving the expansion of the universe. Whichever theory ultimately explains dark energy, unravelling its mystery and working out how strong its force really is may give us a glimpse into the future of our universe. Maybe dark energy will keep pushing galaxies away from each other until they become lonely dots in the vast emptiness of space. The stars would stop shining, everything would go cold, and the universe would face what's called the Big Freeze. Or perhaps we're heading for the equally terrifying Big Rip, where dark energy overcomes gravity and rips the universe apart. If you want to know where the universe is going, you need to understand dark energy, because that's the force or energy at the most cosmic scale that is shaping the structure of the universe. In the meantime, scientists will continue their efforts to solve the mysteries of dark energy, dark matter, 
and the universe itself. Understanding these phenomena are really important for scientists to get a grip on what the universe actually is now, to understand the Big Bang, but also what's going to happen far off into the future. To read more of our science coverage, click on the link opposite. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.